Hello everyone, in this video we want to show you how to remove the factory radio from the Hyundai i20 This one is Hyundai i20 2011 which belong to the generation 2018 2012 um, So at first we will start from the glow box section not from here because the head unit here is part but the air conditioner control section is connected to the back end very very tight with the two cable that we need to uh, to get it out the position first before we can do anything on this one separately so to start in the glow box we need to re remove the glow box output and then we can access and just open this section you will see one two three four five of the screw just remove them and then you have two of the uh, 10 mil uh, bolts like this actually it will stay inside over here uh, here and another one over here okay so two of them and after that you remove this side panel output just you know use a plastic to to pop this one out and then you see one and two screw and another uh, 10 milli millimeter bolt over here okay so on the side here two screw and one bolt after that the glow box is free to be removed uh, just jiggle it and push it down it will come out You see that just push it down it comes down and then remember to unplug that that wire uh, is for the light in the glow box so unplug it so it won't it, uh, get broken okay so we can get the glow box down and here is what we need to do look on the side here the green cable that just you know pop this one out We need to use a plier and pop it out. And then the second one is this one, the black cable. Go in here and it is there. So you see that? Just pop them out. Okay. And after that, we can after that we can use this one. To work on the heading but first we use the plier the plier here to get this thing out okay just push it out and you get this one out okay and then just Pop it out of the uh, holder and then free that one. And the second one is this. Okay. Uh, I think just give it the line. So that is the one. All right. Uh, you see it right in the middle of the camera. We need to pop that out. Okay. So just use the same way, small plier. Okay, that's very simple but tricky one. You need to use the plier to press the top head of the plastic and then it allow the 
ring to go out against this plastic lock the ring it's a very tricky angle of access So, as you can see there, we need to press the top head of the plastic piece, uh, the plastic uh, lock tab, and then the ring will come out like this, okay? So it comes out of that position, remember that, and then get this one out of this holder here. Okay, pop, it comes out. Done. Okay, so two of that screw is loose and you definitely can feel a lot easier to remove the top section now, which simply use the plastic trim remover, anything like this would work well. Pop from the the top the top and the side. In this side, in this side. Okay. so you can see that the bottom is completely loose because of the half of you know, releasing two of those cables. If those cables stay in place, you cannot move further this one output. And now you see the whole thing come out like that and simply disconnect the one two and three cable okay one two and three cable so give me a few seconds one two and three okay so simply i use the little flat screwdriver and slide, slide, and slide, it comes out. Okay, and the top comes out, and the bottom you have a few other connectors. Okay, so just remove it and you get it done. <laughs>